back. A gu Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, the Tony Award winning and outrageously funny musical, is opening on March 6th at the Greenville Theater. We have actors Andrew Anderson and Hope Quinn here to tell us more about the show. Guys, good to see you. Good, good to, to see you. you. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. Yeah, so you, you got, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this show so is going to be so in sync. You guys yeah. are not going to even know. <laughs> we want you guys to be in sync. We're glad that, that you guys are so on the same page. So let's talk. You guys are both veterans of the Greenville Theater. And uh, you've done performances there. So tell us a little bit about this show. It won lots of um, Tonys back in 2014. Um, tell us a little bit about the show and the characters that you play. Yeah, so um, actually, I'm uh, Hope is brand new to Greenville Theater. So oh, we're really? happy to have her. Yes, okay. her first show here. And so I'm playing in Gentleman's Guide, Montague Navarro. Um, <laughs> Monty. <laughs> Monty Navarro, yes. Monty Dice with Navarro. Now, the show kind of is... His mother has recently passed away, and he comes to find out that his mother was disinherited by the Die Swift family, which is a very wealthy, prestigious family, and um, he needs to find a way to claim his rightful place, and he does <laughs> that through a couple of different tricks throughout the show. I don't want to go into too much detail to ruin um, any surprises that may come. No, no spoiler alerts no here. No spoiler None. alerts. Yeah. No. And I play Sabella, who, with whom Monty is in love with. <laughs> um, but she's so focused on climbing the ladder, um, the hierarchical scale of things that, you know, he doesn't have money. Uh, that's not an interest of hers. So mm -hmm. she kind of plays with him similarly to like how a cat would play with a toy. But then as the show goes on, things change. <laughs> he, he rises and she feelings may change as well. So love and murder and all of that in between. So it's gonna be a, a fun show to watch. And of course, having that history of winning so many awards, you know that people are gonna, they're gonna laugh. It's gonna force them to think a little bit too. So totally. um, it starts on March 6th and runs through the 22nd at right. the Greenville um, um, Theater. Uh, do you guys have a, a favorite scene in the show or something that really stands out uh, that you were like, oh, people are really gonna love this. I mean, <laughs> oh, I can, I can. You're in it, but I get to watch it. There is a scene. Uh, there's an ice skating scene, um, and Monty's character is planning perhaps a murder, perhaps not. But um, it's it's just such a good time, and you, I laugh continuously. How about you, Andrew? Yeah, I think <laughs> I think the entirety of Act One is such a roller coaster ride. I think that that entire act itself, people will just be in for a real treat. There's <laughs> there's so many little surprises that you see in there, and people will really have to watch close for every little thing that's happening on stage because it's <laughs> it's it's fast, but it's fun, and I think people are going to love love Act One especially. And I just love the the um, the space, the Greenville Theater space is such a cool space yes. to see a, a show in. So yes. starts on March the 6th. You can call the box office of the number on your screen. You can also go to greenvilletheater.org to buy your tickets. Again, that's going through the 22nd. Starts on the 6th of uh, March. Um, Hope, you're going to perform for us today. I will. Uh, tell us a little bit about the song that we're going to hear. Okay, great. So this is the first time that the audience gets to meet Sabella and the first time <laughs> that the audience sees Monty and Sabella together. And while he's very much doting and interested in her, she's very much interested in herself throughout the entire song. Nice, <laughs> nice. Well, thank you guys so much. Best of luck with the show. And uh, we'll see you on March 6th for the opening opening day. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank, thank you for having you. us. Here's the scene from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Monty. Sibella. Don't you just love me in pink, would you please? Yes, but. Maybe a flower for my hair. No, no. Yes, no violet. No, a tar of roses, I think. Look, you brought me chocolates. Oh, no, I don't dare. Sibella. Do you hate these earrings? The truth. Don't be kind. I don't mind. Because I hate them too. No, no, no. Don't squeeze. Monty, you're a tease. Oh, Monty, look, my shoe. Of course, I should like to. I don't know what I'd do without you. I have never met another man who's half as dear as you. You're so clever, too, and you make me laugh more than anybody. Why are other men so dreary, Monty, and so deadly dull? No one holds a conversation half as beautifully as you. Well, actually, there is a matter You to... haven't said a word about my dress. You're a brute. See how it moves when I turn two, three, one, two. Well, it's a bit much for Clapham, but nevertheless, maybe 
be just a bite, just to be polite. Monty, that's too tight. Monty, that's just right. Oh, what I put you through. I don't know what I do. Oh, you know that it's true. I don't know what I'd do without you.